All right, in this video, what we're going to do is get started on our Keystone library. Once you open up the file from the Google Classroom, uh, make sure that you come up here and let's do a save as and save it as a project and make sure that you're saving in your H drive in your CEA folder. All right. And once we get started, the first thing I like to do in an uh, any architecture project you're working on is we want to worry about our walls first and we'll start uh, with our exterior walls. So let's go with level one and from your sketches you guys should have an idea of what your building is going to look like. So if you'd like to expand your building a little bit that's totally up to you. Um, so if I were to do that let's just say I was making some sort of point on this uh, front of this building. So what I could do is if I click on the wall it tells me what I'm using. All right, so we go to architecture tab wall, and let's use that exterior wall. Let's turn our detail level on so we can see uh, how we're drawing this. Let's do finish face exterior. And remember, can we space bar it if we messed up? And I'm just going to make a point like so. All right, and you could do whatever you want. I think I forgot to set the height of my wall, so let's look and see. So remember, I can always select it after the fact and make sure that I set it to the right height because right now, there we go. So I have it going up the right. So now I need to make sure I have a foundation going around this. So let's go here and let's delete this foundation wall. We need to unpin the footing, delete. We need to unpin the foundation wall, delete, and then now we can go in and draw in this uh, new foundation wall. So when I go to level one, and I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is um, go to foundation, I'm sorry, and I can't see what I'm drawing, so let's go and turn on my underlay that's located in my property so I could see the walls that I need to have. All right, and then we go to wall. Let's put in a foundation wall, and our height is going to be foundation up to level one. And for some reason, it's going to put in this four top offset. Be be mindful of what's going on. Sometimes Revit does what it wants, and I could just trace it, or let's do finish face exterior. Let's pick a line. There we go. I'll just use the pick line tool and draw it quick, bang, bang, boom. So let's see how we did. Good. All right, let's go to that structure tab and put our footings on there, our strip footing, and we go to wall. And let's select the footing that's in there. Bing, bang, boom. All right, we're in business now, and obviously our floor is missing. So let's go and click on the floor, edit the boundary. Let's go to the top, and I like looking at things this way. So um, we're going to delete this line. And we could just do some tracing. I could also use the pick line or pick wall tool up there. And I'm just going to go around and around and around. Remember, like anything though, you need to have a closed loop. Uh-oh. Be careful. Uh, nothing's easy. All right, there we go. And let's do some deleting. Delete. Let's close off this one. And when we go over uh, our structural stuff, we could kind of figure out what beams and stuff we're going to need over here. But for now, let's just green check it. Yes. And uh, let's see how we did. All right, decent. And let's give it our realistic so we're working. All right, so now what we could do, you know, you can make other shapes if you wanted to. If you want to make sweeping ones, you can. Just remember, use that pick line tool. So I could start wrapping uh, my columns in. If I go to my level one, I have a wall that's already made. It's this interior four and seven eighths partition one hour wall it's fire rated for one hour and if we look at the structure 
It's got metal studs, which is good because remember from our land use development sheet that we cannot um, use wood in this building. So I'm going to wrap my columns just to kind of give it a finished look. And if we went to our elevation tab, I could see that my level it's 20 feet. I don't want my columns wrapped all the way up. I want to have a little bit of exposed to give it a little character. So I'm going to go like 14 feet. Why not? And I could make a rectangle around these. I could make a polygon. I can make a circle. I'm feeling circle today. So let's go here in the middle. And we just want to make sure that it's enclosed. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this over. So let's select it. Another way you could select is hold control, select both of them. All right, let's use that copy. Copy again. And copy. And copy. All right, now I could just copy them up there. And rather than selecting each one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one. Right click, select all instances and entire project because I've only made these sets of walls and now I can copy them up there. I could copy them down here and I could copy them right here if you want to do everything the same. So you could come back and clean this up on your own using the trim tool. I'm not going to worry about it because you could figure that out on your own by now. But let's take a look and see. All right, that doesn't look so bad. Let's go to level one. Now you could start laying out your rooms. A couple ways you could do it. The way we did our house is you could take your sketches that you make and make some detail lines where things are going to go and trace them over. Or you could simply just come in here at the wall and start drawing in uh, where they're going to go. What did I use? 14 up there? I don't remember. And start drawing in um, you know, your room layouts, where your bathrooms are going to go. Um, you know, don't forget you get a little funky here. If you wanted to take your wall, let's take this partition wall. Let's edit this type. All right, let's change it. Wall, uh, chips and wall boards a little boring. So I'm going to create a new material. Uh, let's make a wood wall. And we'll figure out what to what do. Let's get some new wood here. Search for wood and see what tickles my fancy here when it comes up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, beech wood. That sounds awesome. So I'm going to use that on my walls because why not? So make sure we check our user entered appearance. If you don't like the wood I pick, pick your own wood. And I can now do it on this side. Or you could do a different type of material on there. And so now if I, let's do one that I could see really easy. All right, let's go to our 3D view. Oh, big no-no. I forgot to edit this type and duplicate it. So what I should have done, let's go back. All right, because we had them drywall. What I should have done is edit this, duplicated it, and call it wood interior so now when i let's see if it has the wood in here i'm going to just use uh oak in here is that flooring door panel there we go that's fine So now, if you wanted to have different walls, some with wood, there's all sorts of different materials in there. You want to have metallic walls. Uh, looks like I made this one eight feet. Mm. This, so maybe I could raise all these up too if I wanted to, to a different height. It's really up to you. There's no wrong or right answer how this needs to look. It's your library. So you can kind of play around with it and do what you feel.